darkness. The balance. The first film didn't even have a number. Ryan has written a story that's unexpected but right. Some of the stuff that happens, people are going to be like, oh my god. Even though I think I know it all, they throw things at me story-wise I never could have imagined. And even though everybody knows that it's the second in a trilogy, it feels like its own thing. Go! Star Wars is so cool because there's all these creatures, and all these amazing visual effects. All the characters are also so complex. Ryan needs to work on his walkie sounds. <laughs> Ridiculous. New director. I can't even just learn a walkie sound. It 
feels like the storylines are becoming more established. We're really getting to know these new characters. Also with the characters that we know and love. We're seeing their lives change. Everything is being shifted in an opposite way to what the audience expected after Seven. Ryan's made Star Wars fresh and new. I'm hoping it'll be a little shocking, but I'm hoping it'll feel real and honest. It's our most ancient story of good against evil, told in the most fascinating way but it has a real spiritual depth to it. It's about family, and that's what's so powerful about it. Back to when I was a kid and with the action figures inside. And suddenly I had like a big lump in my throat. <laughs> this is how they. This is how it gets you. Come inside, here we go, stand by. And action. Ryan is doing many unexpected things and taking characters in new directions. The individual stories of these characters are elevated and made fresh and new. That's what I love about Ryan's approach to the story. It's like a real journey of discovery. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode eight. First time shooting with Mark, first time shooting with Daisy. First time shooting a Star Wars movie and we got some cool stuff. Sad like a dog whimper. Aww. <laughs> yeah, that is great. Ryan's wonderful personality is all over this film. Wow. There's too many of everybody. I misjudged this. He has flaws in other areas. I just don't know about them. <laughs> There's a weird thing that happens when it's being built and when you first show up on it. You're kind of overwhelmed by it all. And then you get into the nitty gritty of working on it. Ready and action. And naturally, that level of it goes away and you find yourself just focused on making the scene work, getting the shots, and then once in a while you're taking a little break and sitting back and you look around. You get the holy crap moment again. Concentrated work split up by holy craps. Got it. Beautiful, Gwen. Very nice. Got it. We've got animatronics, puppetry, physical effects. Yeah, it looks fantastic. This is a little evolution of the Crystal Fox. <laughs> we'll do a combination of a hand puppet, there'll be animatronics in the face. And then we will make a perfect version for CGI, who will then scan it to be able to bring her to life in any way that Ryan wants. Physically, I never really had to push myself that hard. And stamina-wise, you're like, oh my god. It's like a psychological thing of knowing that you can do it more and more and more. Daisy is training for a moment where she is on the island and she has a moment to herself and she's practicing with the staff. And then she realizes, well, am I wasting my time practicing with the staff? I have Luke Skywalker's lightsaber in my satchel. It's just working out the moves for that. Action! I was planning to teach her the whole routine in three days, but she surprised me, learned everything in an hour and a half. 
She's a very quick learner. This is the hardest physical thing I've done yet. The suit can be very restrictive just to move in, just to walk in. You do the move and you think, gosh, is it lunchtime yet? <laughs> Finn and Phasma end up face to face, which results in a major fight. One thing I did want to do is do the whole fight by myself. It was a really good scene to shoot, very tiring there. What was cool was learning different types of fighting. It was intense and fun, but really hard. Training yesterday was great, and then today we started and I was just like, ugh. I was watching Adam, and he gives it so full out every single time. And it was kind of like, oh, my God, I can do that, I can do that. It's just rigorous in a great way. And these stunt guys are very disciplined, so you can't half-ass it. The stunt team are absolutely amazing. They're like my boys and girls. You don't have expression. You don't have a voice. You don't have a face. Very nice. You stand up. They came to me and said, we have a bunch of guys who are coming in to be robot waiters. Would you maybe talk to them about your experience? Isolating bits of your body, tightening up in the middle. Because if you're a machine, you can't really be all willowy. It's so good. We had such fun on set. Here's how you triangulate off different objects to say, yes, I'm on my mark. The guys were great, and they really, really worked hard over and over again. The first conversations you have are always about what makes something feel like Star Wars. This is the most massive production I've ever worked on. They've outdone themselves in terms of the sets. It makes me feel like I'm on another planet. Every other day, we're in a new, incredible location. Croatia was the perfect place to shoot Canto Bite. We're in this alleyway in Dubrovnik, smashing speeders. It was just one of those, oh my gosh, what are we doing? This is amazing moments. Action! The other big new world is Crate. We shot in Bolivia on the salt flats. It's got this red mineral covered with salt flakes that gives it a sort of a white blank canvas. What would a battle on a planet like that look like? We also shot on Skellig Michael off the coast of Ireland. It's very weird to be back on Skellig shooting eight. Here we go, Ross. Right? Feels really nice to put Luke Skywalker in front of a camera. Get color. You've never seen anything like this. There's just this magical feeling that you get, and you're transported to another world. We're working in pretty high places, dangerous places. I think it's worth it because everything is gorgeous.